You know, you've heard the Amanita muscaria. Yeah, the the red thing. mushroom with the white dots on it that make you feel Christmassy. Mm-hmm. And yeah, the the idea is is that there's these Siberian reindeer herders. So this never came up in any of the just light research that I was doing, other than I've heard from other people talking about it. But reindeer herder, uh, reindeer herders. There was shaman that would store up these mushrooms, and then they would drop them. Um, uh, off during winter solstice for for people as uh to basically trip and when the shamans tripped they would they would ring bells they would sit on like a a reindeer pelt and ring bells and it was like kind of like they're flying or whatever cool and if if reindeer would eat them it kind of would look like they had a red nose or whatever and and I think reindeer would eat them and jump up really high like they were flying. Um, and as the story goes, they would they would pack up these mushrooms in a sack and take a sleigh around to all of the. And because it was winter, oftentimes the um, the doors would be like snowed in. And so they would drop them in through the chimney because that's all that they could get to. So that was the gifts that they would drop through the chimney. That's a lot of it. That's, that's a lot of it. And it's a very exciting story. The older I get, the more I hear stories like that from the psychedelic community. I'm like, yeah, that sounds a little too fun. <laughs> and I... My guess is it's bullshit. I've been burned too many times by stories like that when I like find out the truth of it. Like, ah, actually, that was kind of made up. Wait, the but, the dropping it through the chimney part? Like, I don't know. I haven't looked into the just just generally. It makes sense whenever, if you look at it from the long like. It's not like they did that all at once, but over the thousands of years, like maybe a mm -hmm. few times it happened, and then it became part of the lore. Even if only yeah. like a couple of people were were dropping the 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 mushrooms down the chimney, but then they told their kids about it and their kids, and then it just became part of the universe. Yeah, yeah. There's there's also I just I do question it a little bit because there's just such a tendency in the psychedelic community to be like these are sacred and they've been doing this, and you gotta. What you do is you go and you do this traditional practice and like actual anthropologists that I've talked to that go and study tribes and Peru or whatever. It's like, oh, there are, I mean, it's not like they don't do it. It's just not as regular as, as you would be led to believe. And they kind of project whatever, like people come to them for help and they just kind of are the mirrors and like give people what they want you know and they're making money off of it or whatever as well and so they're just kind of like building a story around it more than is um actually in line with uh with reality that seems to be the case um quite a bit and that one sounds real though yeah, just because no, none, none of it sounds that crazy. Because like they're taking the mushroom, and then it's it seems like the reindeer are flying, and they. Yeah, I I, I should look into it. I hope it's true. Either way, we'll um, never really know. Yeah, and that's not me like shitting on people that believe that stuff about psych. It's just that, as far as I'm concerned, psychedelics speak for themselves. They have good, you know, they have their amazing experiences that you can have, and I think the science bears out in the end. And it doesn't really, I think, like embellishing past stories and everything and creating lore around them is unnecessary. It's like you don't really need lore around a self-driving car it's like, it speaks for itself it's fucking awesome well it was to no. develop mainly by george hotz and a little bit by lex friedman on this one car and then uh yeah who else is working on it i don't know elon i guess but um but yeah so that that's but that that is that's cool if it's true for sure um, but I, I didn't see that in any of my like little bit of research that I did, which wasn't enough. Um, 
But it was one of the interesting things was that the and like this Christmas almost went away. So Chris, uh, Christianity kind of tried to co-opt this winter solstice or they did co-opt the winter solstice and then they tried to make it basically they tried to like control it more and which I don't even think a lot of that stuff's about power always you know I think I think it's just a lot of it is you're in charge you think you know what's best for people and it there's a world in which it makes sense for you not to be like drinking and <laughs> causing a bunch of ruckus and like uh, having loose yeah. sex or whatever else. And it's especially convenient that you don't have to follow any of the shit that you're prescribing on others, you know, like you do it yourself and you're like, well, yeah, sure. I do it a little bit, but like everybody else shouldn't be doing this stuff. Yeah. I think that's, I think that's a pretty natural part of the human condition. And then it's just, you, you give anyone, enough power and authority and that's just sort of a natural expression of of what how they end up like commanding people yeah because they think they're they're helping they're um it's like in the handmaid's tale where the guy says better um better isn't always better for everyone i don't know if that Mm. makes sense but just they they're gonna make the world a better place but they recognize that like okay it's gonna be better for this section but maybe these small sections here we'll have to eat it a little bit because what they're doing Can't argue isn't with good. our birth rates mm-hmm. that's a fucking great show by the way handmaid's tale yeah yeah we stopped around season four or something i think it's good but up you kind of get tired of it after a while yeah maybe i i don't think i've seen past that either i mean there's only so many times you can watch june stay behind like, yeah, no, I'm staying behind until every last person is free. Like, okay, they're just renewing it for another season. And the original book is like 80 pages long. 